Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve a word problem on whole numbers. The problem is Ben had $15. After paying for three cards and some stamps, he had $3 left. If each card cost $2 and each stamp cost $1, find the number of stamps he bought. Okay, so let's start with our model. Let's say, let's make a model for the amount of money that Ben had at first. Okay, so Ben had $15 and this is our model that represents $15. Now, how did he spend the money? Well, he bought some cards and he bought some stamps. So let's say that this is the amount, but this is the block that represents the, the amount of money that he spent on the cards. Let's color it. Maybe let's say it's pink. Okay. Now he also bought some stamps. So let's say this is the block that represents the amount of money that he spent on the stamps. Okay. And this is the block that represents the amount of money that he had left. Okay. Now, how much did he have left? Well, he had $3 left. So this is $3, right? This is the $3 that he had left from him. And this is $15, which is the amount of money that he had at first. All right. Now, this block here represents the amount of money that he spent on the cards. And this block represents the amount of money that he spent on the stamps. Okay, now how much did he spend altogether on the cards and the stamps? Well, he spent this pink block plus the blue block. So what is that equal to? If he had $15 at first and he's left with $3, how much did he spend? Well, he spent $15 minus $3 and that is equal to $12. So Ben spent a total of $12 on cards and stamps. Now let's look only at this part. So let's just blow up this part only, okay? The cards and the stamps all together. So we have the cards here and we know that he bought three cards, okay? So we will make three blocks of equal size and that will be our cards. Okay, so we have one card, two cards, and three cards. And each of the cards is $2. Okay, now each card cost $2. So this is $2. Now I also bought some stamps, but we don't know how many. So let's just make a broken box. Okay, the broken box tells you that the number of stamps is unknown. Okay, that's the quantity that's unknown. Now these are the stamps, okay, let's color the stamps. The stamps are these, blue. Now each stamp cost $1, okay, that's been given to us. Each stamp costs $1 here. So how many stamps did he buy then? Well, let's see how much did he spend on the cards. He bought three cards, each costing $2. So two plus two plus two, or three times two. And three times two is equal to six. So he spent a total of $6 on the cards. Then how much did he spend on the stamps? Well, we know that he spent a total of $12 because he had $15 at first and he was left with $3. So we know that he spent a total of $12 on the cards and the stamps together. And he spent $6 on the cards. So let's write that down. All together, he spent... $12, okay, and then he spent $6 on the cards because each card was $2 and he bought three cards, so 2 times 3 is 6, so he spent $6 on the cards. Then how many did he spend on the stamps? Well, we know that he spent $12 altogether and he spent $6 on the cards, so then obviously he spent 12 minus $6 on the stamps. So that is equal to $6 also. So the stamps cost $12 minus $6. So he spent $6 on the stamps. 
Now he spent six dollars on the stamps and each stamp was one dollar. So then how many stamps did he buy? Well he spent six dollars on the stamps and each stamp was one dollar. So that means he bought six divided by one and that's equal to six units. So Ben bought six stamps. So that means there will be six of these blue boxes. So Ben bought a total of six stamps. So the answer to the question you have been asked is Ben bought six stamps. All right. So that's that about this word problem. For more word problems and for practice exercises, visit www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.